Hi, I'm Suzanne and I'm one of the RNs here at Pacific Center for Plastic Surgery. And I'm going to briefly go over the preoperative instructions for those of you that are having a light lift with general anesthesia or with IV sedation. In your packet, you received a piece of paper that has a nice little chart that specifically goes over what to do two weeks prior, one week prior, three days, two days, one day, and the actual morning of surgery. If you'd like to follow along, you can pull that paper out of your packet, or I'll briefly just go over some of the important points to remember about preoperative instructions before surgery. The two weeks prior to surgery are really important. This is your preparing time for surgery. There's a list in your packet that talks about all the medications that you need to stay off of. These medications increase the risk of bleeding. It's really important that we stay away from those things that increase the risk of bleeding because we can bruise and have more swelling in our post-operative experience. On that list, some of the typical medications that are included would be ibuprofen, Motrin, vitamin E, flaxseed oil, omega-3s. There's a lot of things in there and I want to make sure you go through that packet and look at those medications. If you have any question of whether the medication or supplement that you take might be a blood thinner, please call the office and we'll clarify that for you. Another important time in the preoperative um, two week prior to your surgery is to make sure that your blood pressure is within normal limits. Having a low or normal blood pressure is really important in your healing process during the light lift. When you came in for your consultation, either the doctor or the consultant took your blood pressure and at that time they hopefully told you what your blood pressure was. So during this time preoperatively if you do take blood pressure medication or your blood pressure was a little bit elevated, this is your time to be responsible and make sure your blood pressure is within normal lim limits. We typically like it between 120, one, actually 100 to 120 over 70. Um, if your blood pressure is elevated, then we will prescribe a clonidine patch for you to put on prior, and I'll get into that a little bit later in this um, preoperative instruction. Let's go to a week before surgery. Um, during this time, a week before surgery, we want to make sure that you have all your medications purchased. You can take these prescriptions to Target Pharmacy or to Costco. Um, they tend to have the better prices on generics. It's also important during this week before surgery to make sure that you have a ride to and from surgery and that you have a responsible adult that's going to stay with you 24 hours after surgery. Also, we want to make sure that you wrap up any of the required lab testing that's required. That could be EKG, CBC, chem panel, or some of you may even be required to have a letter from your doctor saying that you're cleared for surgery. Moving along, we're going to go to the three-day period before surgery. At this time, we want you to start washing your face every morning and night, and we're talking about washing around the hairline, the ear line, and behind the ears. And this is just a little extra wash with antibacterial soap. Let's go to our two days before surgery. At this time, you're going to put the clonidine patch on your chest. Almost all of you are going to be prescribed a clonidine patch. Only those of you that have a really low blood pressure, under 100 over 65, let's say, are not going to receive a clonidine patch. But that patch is actually going to be put on your chest, either to the left or to the right, and you can put it underneath, over to the side, under your clothes, so it doesn't show when you wear a V-neck. This patch is going to stay on two days before surgery and five days after surgery, so that's a total of seven days. What this patch does is help keep your blood pressure within normal limits, which decreases swelling and bruising and helps you to have an easy recovery. Now let's move to the day before surgery. Let's make sure that all your bags are packed for surgery, that you have all the supplies and things that you need. Make sure you have soft foods, maybe some protein shakes and some things to make scrambled eggs, some soft foods to eat after surgery and you have your ride ready and you're ready to go. That night before you go to bed is when you're going to take out the scopolamine patch. This patch is going to be put on the outside part of either shoulder and this patch is going to stay on for three days. This is an anti-nausea patch and it helps make it comfortable when you're taking any of your pain medications so you don't get nauseous. 
Also, sometimes general anesthesia can make you a little bit nauseous, so this patch really helps aid in decreasing the chance of nausea. Because you are having general anesthesia or IV sedation, you need to make sure that you stay off of all food and liquids after midnight. So in other words, nothing to eat or drink after midnight. So you're going to wake up the next morning, and if your surgery is either at Huntington Beach Surgery Center or Talbert downstairs, either one of those surgery centers will have already confirmed with you what time you need to be there to show up for your surgery. Typically, it's either half an hour or an hour, depending on which surgery center. So make sure in the morning when you wake up, you don't have anything to eat or drink again. You can brush your teeth, and, um, but nothing to eat, and you're going to show up to your surgery and have a great day.